Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim. Whew. Well, we survived that set of storms. That was quite a couple of weeks. First, to start off, we got five inches of snow in one night, which is very unusual for here in Tennessee, in lower middle Tennessee. And then it got really cold and stayed cold for over a week. And there was even a couple of days, well, one day we got down in the negatives, which is, is even more rare here in this part of the state. So it, the roads got icy, snow got packed on the roads, it froze. Some of the roads were impassable. So I had to walk over, feed my cows. You can see that in one of my other videos. I had to chop ice for the pigs. Cows were able to break through the ice themselves to be able to drink. But the pigs, they couldn't do it. And so I had to chop ice for them. The ice got on the ponds. It was the one day it was over four inches thick. It was, and then that all stuck around for a, over a week and then it went from freezing cold and icy to raining and within a two-day time span we got four and a half inches of rain so all that snow and ice was melted by the rain and turned into a big muddy mess everything was muddy yeah it was a mess and in the midst of all that the water department had major problems and had to turn everybody's water off so we spent a week with limited or no water in everyone's houses there were some parts of the county or yeah the district that were at without water for over two weeks thankfully mine wasn't out that long it was off for a couple days solid and then Finally, they were able to start turning it back on for part of the day, so I was able to start getting water, but we were under a boil water advisory that whole time. That was two weeks about of having to boil water for drinking if you didn't have bottled water, which nobody had bottled water because everybody panicked bought before the snowstorm came, so there was no there was nothing left on the shelves. There was no bottled water, no paper plates, no butter. No eggs, no milk, bread, that's crazy. They just bought everything. Anyhow, but we made it through it. It was, it was a crazy deal. See the pigs, they survived. It got pretty rough for them. It was cold temperatures. It was no fun for them. But thankfully they made it through. My other feeder pigs made it through as well. Anyhow, we made it through all of it. Now we got warmer weather. Still getting below freezing at nights, but it's getting up in the 50s, close to 60 degrees. There's actually, the fescue grass is starting to grow with these longer days. Since we've come past winter now, or I mean we're in winter, but we're past the shortest day of the year. The days are starting to get a little bit longer and that fescue is starting to grow a little bit. So the cattle are eating quite as much hay. They sure went through a lot of hay while it was frozen out there. In that really cold weather, they they were chomping it down. But now they're, they've slowed down a little bit, thankfully. But I am going to run out of hay, so I'm going to have to try to track some down. Well, I think a buddy of mine has tracked some down for us. But anyhow... Everybody survived, thankfully, made it through to the other side. I guess that's my update for this week. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.